There are thousands of kids in Oklahoma with parents in prison. The minute parents go to jail, their child is up to seven times as likely to follow in their footsteps. Kids with incarcerated parents suffer from grief, depression, anger, and behavior issues. These children are among the most at risk in Oklahoma. Little Lights School is a special school for kids that have lost a parent at some time to jail or prison. We help them to heal up from these experiences while we provide them the structure of a good education. True prevention is stopping the cycle of becoming a felon. We're not talking specialty courts or diversion. We're talking working with children so they never get that first felony conviction. One of the most exciting things for the kids is they come here, our students come here, and they learn that they can make choices. They can make choices that give them hope for their future so that they can have a different future than perhaps their incarcerated parent. I love the school. Um, they're the most patient, caring people that I've ever met. Since being here, his, his behavior has drastically changed. He knows once he gets here, it's a staff of hugs, smiles, kisses, high fives. He, he, he knows that he's loved when he's here. We take the whole child, the spiritual part, the educational part, the academic part, and mix it with God's Word. We try to weave the Christian component into the warp and woof of our school, just like everything else. It's, we address the whole child, and spirituality is part of that. We incorporate pledging to the flags, and they have a creed that they say, I'm a Little Light Christian School student, and um, I have great expectations for myself. I accept the challenge to become the best that I can be. Well, I think the best way to show love is to share your life with someone and, and give up that time and uh, listen to them and uh, be a part of their lives. His, uh, his public school teacher, like she basically gave up on him. She said she couldn't help him. So I think uh, being here, they put a lot of effort into helping him. They told him that they wouldn't give up on him. They were going to make sure he learned how to read and read well. If we don't reach the heart of the children and parents and those that we come in contact with, we are just like sounding brass and tinkling cymbal. We're helping students realize that they do have a choice and they do not have to be caught in this cycle of generational incarceration. They can take a different path. And so at Little Light, we're shining the light on that path and helping them to find the pathway to a healthy and productive life. 